Новым годом вас! С Новым веком! New Year's Eve 1999, Vladimir Putin becomes president of the Russian Federation. The former KGB officer sets about looting the country of its wealth, creating a system in which billionaire oligarchs are allowed to enrich themselves as long as they split the proceeds with him, swear fealty to him, and work to further the interests of the new regime. Within weeks of assuming the presidency, Putin has laid waste to the Chechen city of Grozny, ordering the use of cluster bombs and ballistic missiles. According to a United Nations assessment, Grozny is now the most destroyed city on Earth. 2,000 miles away, old Etonian Ben Elliott, 25 years old, and the nephew of Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, sets up a luxury concierge company to tailor to the wants and needs of the super-rich. He calls it quintessentially. 2006, Russian defector and Putin critic Alexander Litvinenko is poisoned in central London with a radioactive substance. Three weeks later, he dies in agony. His killers are two former Russian FSB agents, almost certainly working to Putin's orders. 2007, six weeks after Litvinenko dies, a Russian ex-banker, Lubov Golubeva, makes her first political donation to the Conservative Party. She is the partner of Vladimir Chernukin, Putin's former deputy finance minister. Another donation follows in March. They will soon be married. The couple own multiple properties registered to shell companies and in one three-year period will spend £11 million on yacht hire alone. 2008. Conservative MP Boris Johnson is elected Mayor of London. Putin's Russia invades and occupies parts of the independent nation of Georgia. In a letter to The Times, banker Nat Rothschild claims that Conservative Chancellor George Osborne and party fundraiser Andrew Feldman tried to solicit a donation from Putin ally Oleg Deripaska on his yacht. Osborne denies the claim. 2009. Former KGB spy Alexander Lebedev buys the London Evening Standard. He appoints his son Evgeny as senior executive director. 2010. Johnson and the younger Lebedev strike up a friendship, with the mayor and newspaper baron often dining together. According to the minutes of a meeting between the two, all agreed that what is worthy of celebration is Russia now. 2011. Protests break out in Moscow against endemic voter fraud and widespread anti-democratic repression. 2012. Lebedev's Evening Standard publicly backs Johnson's mayoral re-election campaign. Johnson wins. That year, he stays for free at the Lebedev's Italian castle, something he will do every October for the next five years. 2013. Ben Elliott of Quintessentially boasts that he's added a dedicated Russian team to his London office to meet demand from Russian clients. One Russian client courted by his firm is Mikhail Lesin, a former advisor to Vladimir Putin nicknamed the Bulldozer because of his reputation for forcing media companies to bend to the Kremlin's will. MI6 boss Sir John Sawyers privately expresses concerns about Evgeny Lebedev. Johnson is reportedly made aware of the concerns, but nevertheless continues to stay close to the younger Lebedev. The Conservative Summer Fundraising Ball is attended by Boris Johnson and Vasily Shestakov, Vladimir Putin's judo partner and a member of the Russian parliament. In August, Evgeny Lebedev speculates that Alexander Litvinenko may have been murdered by MI6. February 2014. Putin's Russia invades and occupies the Ukrainian territory of Crimea. According to Kremlin emails leaked by Ukrainian hackers, Alexander Lebedev sends an email to a Putin aide proposing a plan to win Western support for the invasion. Five months later, at a lavish London ball thrown by the Conservative Party, Lubov Chernukin, the wife of Putin's former finance minister, pays a staggering £160,000 to play tennis with Boris Johnson. Two weeks later, a Russian missile operated by Putin-backed separatists shoots down a passenger plane, Malaysian Airlines MH17, as it passes over Ukraine, killing 298 people. 2015. Putin sends his air force to Syria to prop up the repressive regime of Bashar al-Assad. Soon after the deployment, Lebedev pushes for the UK to ally itself to Putin in Syria, writing in The Independent that Britain must make Vladimir Putin an ally, and boasting about his senior Russian connections. Johnson then writes a Telegraph column headlined, Let's deal with the devil. We should work with Vladimir Putin and Bashar al-Assad in Syria. 
Russia will soon flatten Syrian cities, kill tens of thousands of civilians and be complicit in Assad's use of chemical weapons. February 2016, Evgeny Lebedev attends a private dinner at Johnson's family home in Islington, along with Michael Gove. It's a night Gove and Johnson decide to back Brexit. Lebedev will allegedly try later to persuade Evening Standard editor Sarah Sands also to back Brexit. In March, Johnson praises Putin's ruthless clarity in Syria. With the Brexit campaign now raging, Johnson is branded a Putin apologist after he argues that the European Union provoked the Russian invasion of Crimea. 2017. The Intelligence and Security Committee of the UK Parliament begins an investigation into malign Russian influence on British politics and society. March 2018. Russian defector Sergei Skripal and his daughter Yulia are poisoned with a nerve agent on the streets of Salisbury in Wiltshire. The attackers are two agents from Russian military intelligence. In April, just hours after a NATO meeting, Johnson, now Foreign Secretary, slips away from his security team to visit the Lebedev's castle in Italy. While there, he meets Alexander Lebedev. A dishevelled and clearly hungover Johnson is then pictured alone at an Italian airport, telling passengers he's had a heavy night. He cannot later explain why it was necessary for him to travel to Italy without the 24-7 security detail that usually accompanies a foreign secretary. April 2019. Lubov Chernukin pays £135,000 for dinner at the Goring Hotel's Michelin restaurant with Prime Minister Theresa May, future Foreign Secretary Liz Truss and other ministers. Three months later, Johnson replaces May as Prime Minister. Johnson appoints Ben Elliott as co-chairman of the Conservative Party. Elliott creates a membership system in which donors giving more than a quarter of a million pounds become members of a so-called advisory board that is granted privileged access to the Prime Minister, ministers and advisers at the top of government. Lubov Chernukin, who by now has given two million pounds to the Tories, is on the board. Alexander Lebedev tells The Spectator magazine... Over the past 25 years, the West has degraded so much that I don't see any difference in these political systems any longer. If I had to choose between Theresa May, Corbyn or Putin, I would choose Putin. He is the best politician. Meanwhile, Johnson refuses to publish the Intelligence and Security Committee's Russia report. The general election goes ahead in December without the British people being allowed to know the contents of the report. Johnson wins. The next night, fresh from his election victory, he spends the evening not with party workers, but at an extravagant London party thrown by Alexander Lebedev to celebrate the ex-KGB officer's 60th birthday. 2020, Johnson nominates Evgeny Lebedev for a peerage, but the intelligence agencies advise against the nomination on the grounds of national security. July 2020. The Russia report is finally published, albeit with heavy redactions. It describes the UK as one of Russia's top targets and finds that Russian influence in the UK is the new normal. The same month, Evgeny Lebedev is made a peer, after Johnson insists on defying the security services. I, Evgeny Lord Lebedev. February the 24th, 2022. Russia invades the sovereign state of Ukraine. Cities are indiscriminately shelled, missiles rain down on civilian areas, and some three million refugees flee for their lives. It's an unprovoked war of aggression launched by Putin on an independent state. Lubov Chernukin and Evgeny Lebedev condemn the invasion. One-time quintessentially client Roman Abramovich is sanctioned due to his proximity to the Moscow regime. Also sanctioned is the Chernukin's former business partner Oleg Deripaska. As Ukraine fights for its very existence, Conservative Party chairman Ben Elliott deletes from the quintessentially website the details of his Moscow operation. An archived version of the deleted site reads... Quintessentially, Russia has nearly 15 years' experience providing luxury lifestyle management services to Russia's elite. It is not enough to simply have money. One has to have proper contacts to maximise the use of that money. Since Boris Johnson became Prime Minister, the Conservatives have taken more than £2 million from Russia-linked oligarchs. 